here, buddy. How y'all doing today? Mike Hines here, Way of Life Outdoor Survival. You know, I was just out here doing a little work. Thought I'd take a little break, and uh, while I was taking a break, I thought I'd do a little walkthrough with you of my garden. I've actually got two garden spots this year. Um, show y'all what I got going on. Oh, let me get the spring flipped around here. All right. Y'all, I got, I think there's 50 tomato plants here, y'all. Um, this first row is uh, two different kinds of red tomatoes. Next row, two different kinds of red tomatoes. This row, this row, the third row, is half Bradley pink tomatoes and half Cherokee purple tomatoes. Um, the fourth row of tomatoes, which will be this row, is um, Lemon Boy yellow tomatoes, half of it is, and the other half is, uh, let me see, what? I can't remember the name. What is it? Oh yeah, they're called uh, Golden Jubilee. They're kind of an orange tomato. And uh, got some pepper plants here, y'all. This is actually, um, I don't know if y'all can see the pepper in there. This will actually turn pretty much a reddish color. This is a uh, red sweet pepper. I love throwing those things on the grill, y'all. This here is a yellow cayenne. It's called a golden cayenne. I've never grown these before, but I wanted to try them. All right. Of course, I got several onions out here, y'all. This is my onion, um, which I've already pulled a few for green onions, but I'm letting the rest of them get big so they'll make big table onions. And uh, got a few sweet green bell peppers. And um, this pepper plant here, let's see, Santa Fe Grande. Um, no peppers on it. It was kind of a little later getting set out. I try to stage these things. This is uh, just starting to bloom. And y'all, I got a variety of sweet corn. This is actually, this first row is actually a yellow Spanish maize. The second row, is a yellow and white mix Spanish maize. Um, this row here is a mixed yellow and white kernel um, sweet corn. This row here, you notice it's a little smaller. I try to stage this stuff so everything doesn't come in at once, y'all. This is uh, a white sweet corn. And uh, I don't know if y'all can tell, but I got my beans planted, beans and peas planted in with my corn. Um, I was always told, always told by my grandfather, which uh, we always, like I told y'all, I grew up doing this stuff. And uh, I was always told that uh, he used to plant sweet corn, well, about any kind of corn, beans and squash at the same time. He said the corn gives the beans something to grow up and the squash shades the ground so you don't get as many weeds in it but they also put other stuff in the ground put something back in the ground that the other needs and each one of them uses a different mineral and stuff out of the ground fertilized type stuff and y'all i don't do any kind of chemicals i do not do herbicides i do not do pesticides if i find any kind of insect on my plants I just pretty much hand pick them off and kill them, whatever I got to do, and uh, don't use any kind of uh, chemical fertilizer. Everything's all natural that I do. Um, Y'all can tell the fertilizer works pretty good. Um, I think today is June the 12th, and y'all, um, flip you back around here. Um, I've got another little garden spot in behind my house. I'm going to go show y'all that. And uh, I've done something a little different back there, and uh, I'll show y'all when we get back there, okay? All right, y'all. Um, I got a few broccoli plants out here first, and y'all, I'm going to tell you, the rabbits have taken a toll on them. I had a few insects on them. I got most of those killed out, I think, but the rabbits have really been wearing this.
broccoli out and um, I set this broccoli out in stages this is broccoli then from here to about here is more broccoli and I've got a few more sweet pepper plants and like I said y'all I've got this in stages they're just now starting to come up um, in the next row I have yellow striped neck squash um, got a few there it's ready to pick already have picked several off of it this year um, then I have some patty pan squash which is a little yellow flat squash then I have some zucchini I'm gonna have to thin these out y'all um, I planted like I said I staged all this stuff planted different times and uh, then I got a few round zucchini they make like a big ball like a globe um, or a gourd or something they're they're a round zucchini um, several of them are starting to come up then we have cucumbers y'all and uh, more cucumbers here there's a little cucumber um, y'all notice this frame I built um, I'm gonna let these cucumbers grow up on this thing I've been doing this for a couple years and what that does y'all um, you see how this cucumber's touching the ground and it curled and this end smaller we all when they're hanging up like this it seems like they grow straighter and um, an even size all the way down this one um, I had this tied up with some string but it got broke down I've got to tie it back up and uh, y'all I got some cauliflower set out here but uh, had a few insects on it but got most of them killed out like I said the rabbits is wearing them down and I got some cabbage some head cabbage here and then I got another kind of squash here what is this oh yeah it's my wife's favorite this is butternut squash she loves that stuff y'all and uh, then I've got some leaf lettuce like a loose leaf lettuce coming up it's just now starting to come up and y'all y'all see the grass and stuff's a little thick here but there's a reason I didn't mow this down y'all is because last year I planted asparagus which is just now starting to come up good and uh, I don't want to take a chance of cutting that down by mowing the grass down so I have to get out here and pull that out but uh, if y'all notice I'm telling y'all I've done something a little different if y'all notice in between the rows I've left it where I can mow it I left the grass there and uh, I only tilled up the actual row where I was planting stuff itself reason I've done that y'all this hillside here um, if you don't watch it you till all this up it'll wash ruts and stuff across it we've had several heavy rains this year and it hadn't done it plus uh, one of my older buddies let me turn y'all back around here he is a uh, older gentleman and uh he's been doing this for a long time y'all and i really believe in uh listening to the generations that are ahead of us because uh before us because they uh they really know what they're doing they've learned by trial and error and uh you know like i said y'all i believe in tradition and uh, a lot of what i know about what i do here is uh passed down from generation to generation and uh y'all i'm not a homesteader that's something that i would love to do we grow a lot of our own vegetables um the tomatoes we can tomatoes we can vegetables uh we uh i actually make um when i can the tomatoes i actually make uh spaghetti sauces um bases for chili um bases for soups and stuff as i can it and that way we, like you know the spaghetti sauce when you open it you know, it's just like a jar of ragu or something prego but uh, a whole lot better um, use all natural ingredients and stuff like that. We raise sunflowers and I should have showed y'all when I was at the other garden but uh, y'all I don't um, like a lot of uh, wild edibles grow natural around here. Dandelions, curly leaf docker, uh, dock, uh, chicory, um, wild lettuce, wood sorrel, all that stuff y'all if it comes up in my garden I let it grow I actually harvest it I mean you know and uh, a lot of people come by and you know friends and stuff like that visiting visitors and stuff and they uh, they say man you got weeds all in your garden I try to explain to them that's not weeds all that's food you know 
I don't think they get it sometime, but anyway, you know, I guess to each his own, right? But uh, anyway, I just wanted to kind of share with y'all and let you know what I was doing and uh, uh, kind of show you my little garden spots. And uh, just want to tell y'all I appreciate you watching. If you would, please like and subscribe to our channel. And we'll see y'all next time.